In this episode, we'll learn about the concepts behind calculations for sunrise and sunset. Times of various phenomena are listed in the daily pages of the Nautical Almanac. However, to avoid the almanac being unmanageably thick, times are listed only for certain latitudes and for standard longitudes. You must then correct the value for your latitude and your longitude. Standard longitudes are longitudes spaced every 15 degrees apart on the Earth's surface. For instance, 15, 30, 45, 60, etc. These correspond to the Earth's time zones, plus 1, plus 2, plus 3, etc. So the calculation for sunrise or sunset is a two-step process. First, you must correct for latitude, and second, you correct for longitude. Let's take a look at some examples. On February 24, 1981, we want to calculate sunrise for our position of 40 degrees north and 60 degrees west. We are observing time zone plus 4 Quebec. The first thing to do is find the time of sunrise for our latitude. Since we are at 40 degrees north, we can just pull the value right from the nautical almanac, 0640. Next, we need to correct for longitude. Since we're observing plus 4 Quebec, and standard meridians are every 15 degrees apart, we can deduce that plus 4 Quebec corresponds to 60 degrees west. Since we are at 60 degrees west, no correction is necessary, and the final time of sunrise is 0640. Let's do another example, same day and still looking for sunrise. We're still observing plus 4 Quebec, but this time our position is 40 degrees north and 65 degrees west. Again, we'll enter the almanac to find the time of sunrise at our latitude, which is 40 degrees north, and that corresponds to 0640. This time we're not located at a standard meridian. Remember, plus 4 corresponds to 60 degrees west. We're at 65 degrees west, which is 5 degrees to the west of the meridian we are observing on our watches. In the nautical almanac, towards the back, we can use the conversion of arc to timetable to do exactly that. Convert arc, or 5 degrees, into time. The table tells us that 5 degrees is equal to 20 minutes of time. The sun takes 20 minutes to travel 5 degrees over the Earth's surface. Since we are to the west of the standard meridian we're observing, the sun will rise later for us. 20 minutes later, to be exact. So the final time of sunrise is 0700. For our third example, we're on the same day and same time zone, but our position is not as convenient. We're at 42 degrees and 30 minutes north, and 70 degrees, 30 minutes west. First we correct for latitude. Since our latitude isn't listed in the nautical almanac, we need to interpolate the value, or pick the value that corresponds to our latitude. We are exactly halfway between 40 and 45 degrees north, so let's take those two values and our time will be exactly halfway between them. So 06, 42, and 30 seconds in this case. Next we correct for longitude. Again, we're to the west of the meridian we're observing on our clocks by 10 degrees and 30 minutes. You might be saying that we're closer to 75 degrees west than 60 west, and you would be correct. However, we're observing the time zone of 60 degrees west on our clocks, so it's easier to do the calculation for that meridian. Then you don't have to worry about daylight savings time or anything like that. So the conversion of arc to timetable tells us that 10 degrees of arc is equal to 40 minutes of time, and 30 minutes of arc is equal to 2 minutes of time. So our total longitude is 40 plus 2, or 42 minutes. Do we need to add or subtract that amount? We need to add it because we are to the west of the standard meridian and things happen later for us. The final sunrise answer for our position is 0, 0724 and 30 seconds. Sunset is done the exact same way. So on 24 February we're looking for sunset for position 42 degrees 30 north and 54 degrees west. First we correct for latitude. Again, our latitude isn't listed, but we're exactly halfway between two listed latitudes, so we can interpolate easily. Next we need to correct for longitude. We're still observing plus 4 Quebec, which corresponds to 60 degrees west, but this time we are 6 degrees to the east of the standard meridian. 6 degrees of arc is equal to 24 minutes of time. This time, we need to subtract that amount. Since we're to the east of the meridian, things will happen earlier for us. So the final time of sunset is 17, 20, and 30 seconds. That is the basic concept behind manual calculations for sunrise and sunset. Remember, correct for latitude first, 
Then, based on the standard meridian you're observing, correct for longitude. Stellar calculations can be completed using the Task menu dropdown and selecting Rise, Set, or Transit. In the next episode, we'll learn how to solve more difficult problems.